No, I don't think you should play him. I think we all know. I think it would be better just to play it. Yeah. I broke the rules. <laughs> Welcome and thank you for joining us today as we celebrate the love and marriage of Brittany and Tyler. Look at this I want you to be able to see better. Yeah, I want you to see. As writer Marcel Proust once said, let us be grateful to the people who make us happy, for they are the charming gardeners who make our souls blossom. You are the people who make Brittany and Tyler's souls blossom. They are so happy and grateful that you are all able to be here and be a part of such a spontaneous event. The bride and groom would like to take this time to acknowledge their grandparents, who aren't able to physically be in our presence today, but are forever in our hearts. They've helped to mold them into the people that they are today. <laughs> to honor Bill Knight and Dorothy Ronan. The bride and groom will be uniting their lives officially today with the rings that were passed down to them as a token of love. They would also like to honor their cousins, Shayla Mouse and Jonathan Mabry, who lost their lives earlier than expected, but who taught everyone they knew the importance of loved ones and being grateful for every day. Marriage is perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure of human relationships. No ceremony can create your marriage. Only you can do that. Through love and patience, through dedication and perseverance, through talking and listening, helping and supporting and believing in each other, through laughter, through learning to forgive, learning to appreciate your differences, and by learning to make the important things matter and to let go of the rest. Here's something neat to think about. As Neil deGrasse Tyson once said, recognize that the very molecules that make up your body, the atoms that construct the molecules, are traceable to the crucibles that were once the centers of high mass stars that exploded their chemically rich guts into the galaxy, enriching pristine gas clouds with the chemistry of life. So that we are all connected to each other biologically, to the earth chemically, and to the rest of the universe atomically. That makes me smile, and I actually feel quite large at the end of that. It's not that we are better than the universe, we are part of the universe. We are in the universe, and the universe is in us. The late great Carl Sagan beautifully said, the size and age of the cosmos are beyond ordinary understanding, lost somewhere between immensity and eternity is our tiny planetary home. And yet, our species is young and curious, and brave and shows much promise. In the last few millennia, we have made the most astonishing and unexpected discoveries. We remind us that humans have evolved to wonder, that understanding is a joy and that knowledge is prerequisite to survival. Our little planet floats like a mote of dust in the morning sky. All that you see, all that we can see, exploded out of the star billions of years ago. And the particles slowly arrange themselves into living things, including all of us. We are made of star stuff. We are the mechanisms by which the universe can comprehend itself. The world is so exquisite, with so much love and moral depth. We should remain grateful every day for this brief moment under the sun. The sum of all of our evolution, our thinking, and our accomplishments is love. <laughs> a marriage makes two fractional lives a whole. It gives two questioning natures a renewed reason for living. It brings a new gladness to the sunshine, a new fragrance to the flowers, a new beauty to the earth, and a new mystery to life. Will you, Tyler, take this woman to be your wedding wife? 
Brittany. <laughs> Will you, Brittany, take this man to be your wedded husband? We come to the point of the ceremony where you're going to say your own vows to one another.
and now by the power invested in me by the state of Texas and by the power of your love and commitment to one another, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> You're allowed to sit down. <laughs> Sign the paper. My sister. That was our last walk, Tyler. <laughs> now you're my family. Yeah. I'm going to whoop your butt and do bad stuff. Hold on, don't stop it yet. There you go, that's how it'll end. <laughs> 